Welcome to Charge Heads. Here we are at Caffeine and Machine. And look, we've got electric cars. When it comes to battery powered vehicles, we're not exactly talking adrenaline rush, are we? <laughs> There. Let's go and have a look, see what we got. Now uh, we've got EV Equip, they've got their ID4, and next to it we've got Richard's Tesla Model 3. It's modified, got some Maxton kit on it and some nice bits and bobs. And then follow me, Stefan, let's go down the line. Sorry guys, can we move over a bit? Cheers. And uh, Mike's brought his Tesla Model 3. He's only recently bought it and he's, he's got plenty of plans for that as well. And then we've got good old Rusty. In fact, all the Teslas here today are performance. They're not rusty. Poor rusty. And the aero caps, they're looking uh, particularly shiny today. Unfortunately, as you might have seen from my last video, uh, Mrs. Chargehead knocked one the other day, which isn't ideal. Next to rusty, we've got Paul, Paul Compton, EV guru, his Lotus XL. And people that watch the channel might know that he's actually converting another Lotus XL and he's got a Lotus Esprit as well. And now we come to your car, Stefan, the Model Y. Family wagon. The family wagon, yes. Model Y, long range. Uh, I won't point out the far rim on the driver's side. No, let's not do that. <laughs> and look at this. John has made it with his EV converted Beetle. And I tell you what, it's got, it's had loads and loads of interest. And do you know what? I've just spotted it out the corner of my eye. Stefan, swing around to this. Look, at, look come and have a look at the, uh, the headrest on this, on Mike's one. You're getting quite a, quite a few uh, interesting responses. Yeah, so we've got John's Beetle EV conversion. So that's got, had quite a lot of interest. Clive has, you know, worked really hard in keeping his Tesla Model 3 clean for today. Not at all, actually. And uh, we've had a couple of guys turn up in uh, Tesla Model X and Tesla Model 3. So it's, it's a great turnout. And we've had some really interesting chats uh, on the EV front, whether it's modified chat or uh, talking about you know, taking our uh, EVs, you know, on track or to their next location. Because next month, we're going to have another EV meet on the 11th of November at the original cafe machine in Stratford. So anyone who can make it there, come on down. It's, you know, it's just a friendly chat about EVs. You don't have to have an EV, but if you're an enthusiast and you want to talk about EVs, come along. Yeah, so we've had a lot of uh, petrol heads interested in the EVs, you know, asking questions, especially on John's EV conversion. You're on video now. What's wrong with it? Fell off the garage wall. Bounced you, you, off. You can hold that now. Bounced, bounced off the wing and hit the uh, running board. But there you go. It's, it gets used and abused. It's a daily. It's a daily. Yeah. How, <clears throat> how many miles have you done now converted? Converted? Uh, 11,000 on the DC motor and another 7,000 on this uh, net gain Hyper 9. Have you, have you upped your mileage since you uh, up to the Hyper 9? Not really, because I was using it all the time already. Now it's just a lot more fun. <laughs> so you notice the power difference quite a bit then? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it more than keeps up with traffic. It leaves most traffic behind. It makes me quite impatient sometimes. It's the trouble when you've got a bit of power. I really should drive it more sensibly. But when it's there. No, thanks, mate. It's, it's great to have you here. And, you, get, you know, we're getting lots of attention, which is uh, what it's all about. You know, getting some uh, more love for unique electric beasts. And like you said, John, you've not seen any, or no, you've not seen any in the wild yet, any EV conversions other than shows. So, uh, and there is me. I'm just, you know, chatting to uh, a load of the charge heads and EV enthusiasts and, and a TVR wedge turns up. How about that? And it's an absolute mint box. <laughs> yeah. It's got, it's, got a, it's got a funny noise coming out the back, John. Oh. It's, it's mint. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell nice, John. What are you talking about? The interior, oh, the seats, oh. I think Wedgie is a long way from that, a long way.
anyone, like I said, who wants to come to the next meet, 11th of November, Caffeine Machine, uh, check out Facebook, Instagram for updates in terms of timings. But hopefully we'll see you there. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is Tim doing with a blanket over Rusty? Well, it's the morning after um, the EV meet we had the other day, and I was supposed to, before the EV meet occurred, um, spray the front bottom bit of the splitter. Although I came down with a bit of a <coughs> uh, man flu, so uh, I just didn't have the energy. More pissing, more pissing, more energy. And I uh, didn't have the energy to video me doing it really. But as you can see, I've covered up Rusty. This is Plasti Dip. It's supposed to be metallic Plasti Dip and I've put pearlizer over the top. So I just cleaned, cleaned the car and then I sprayed the whole can over the top evenly underneath as well. Because the whole idea, originally when I bought this splitter and uh, if you check out the video where I did the mountain pass performance spherical bearings, um, you will see that I did actually originally Plasti Dip this, but the opposite round to how I've done it now. I just thought that if I Plasti Dipped the front bit, um, it will make it look a bit lower because at the moment the black it just kind of hides the shape of the front um, So I'm going to unveil this and then I'm going to go to another car meet. Let's unveil You know what I need a knife now this is what happened last time as I was pulling it off Yeah, the plastic it came with it now. Please write in the comments. Am I doing this wrong? I don't know hopefully I'll be able to get it off uh, with the knife. I remember now, this is why I didn't do it before, because it still looked a bit scrappy, but let's give it a go again. Hopefully it doesn't look like a dog's dinner. Okay, it's not too bad. Mm, I think it looks crap. <laughs> I still think it doesn't look great. There's a couple of angles I think, oh, that's all right. But I think I think it needs to all go white. I think it all needs to go white. Or it needs to stay black. Write in the comments. I still can't decide. There's, there's a couple of angles I think, oh, no, that looks all right. Stop faffing about, Tim. Let's go and go to this car meet. I'm going to leave it on for now. Might as well. And... Um, Go and have some car chat. Right, here we are at the Autonomous uh, meet. It's at the Garden Centre in Wixoms. And uh, I was so surprised, like, massi like massively surprised, that there's a modified Tesla here. A Tesla Model Y. Look at this. So it's got um, some sort of, sorry, Maxton or some sort of uh, Alibaba special kit. Does look good, actually. Uh, got the old uh, camera protectors, side skirts. I'm guessing it's a long range. Yeah, it's a long. Oh no! Where well, it says performance. Let's have a look at. The, let's have a look at the um, calipers. That because that's how we tell. Okay, so it is a performance. Nice. So very nice. Yeah, there's loads of interesting cars. One I'm going to show you in a minute. It's not electric, but it's a one of one, so very special. Um, but yeah. So yeah, quite interesting to see a modified. Tesla Model Y and a performance. Yeah, quite a rare, rare thing. Let's go and have a little walk round and see what we can find. K20, two litre, 340 brake, 550 kilograms. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> it's a very small steering wheel. <laughs> Supercharged. So this is a one of one uh, based on a Cavalier Coupe and uh, yeah it's a 2.4 a turbo, very, very interesting <laughs> bit of kit. It's got to love these type of bonnet scoops, haven't you? They just they don't make them like that anymore, do they? No. 
Cruise boost. Recaros. Yeah, you know. In the hall. <laughs> in the same hall. Uh, 2000, when did I buy it? 10, 2010. NEC 1980. Wow. It's only a year before I was born. Uh, <laughs> Wish I could bloody say that. Wow. <laughs> it gets worse every year. Look at this, the custard Nova. Um, your wheels are they? God, takes me back, the old Nova. I mean, who didn't have a friend or own a Nova? 1.3 SR. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Now, there was someone doing an EV conversion on Nova. What happened to him? Write in the comments, please. I want to find out what's going on there. I can understand it, but it's got better seats. Couple more cars turned up. Really clean MR2 Turbo Mark II with T bar and a Sierra. Sierra 4x4. This came in as I was getting a drink. Look how clean and original this Fiesta Turbo. What are they, Mark 3? Yeah, Mark 3. Feza. You can tell if it's a turbo because it's got the green stripe and the XR2i's got the blue stripe from memory. Three spokes. It's a really good meet this. So Wixom's Garden Centre in Bedford. First Sunday of the month, I think. But check out Auto Anonymous uh, on Facebook. All of the meets are on there. But yeah, it's been a really interesting uh, selection of cars because that's what it's all about having quite a few uh, interesting beasts here the one of one Vauxhall that was up there that we were looking at earlier the uh, based on the Vauxhall Cavalier Turbo is a you know there's a, a S3 down there which is 565 brake horsepower on an R32 engine with a turbo pretty mental and I was just really happy to see that there was a modified Tesla here you know so thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoy the episode and I'm hoping that there will be uh, some update on the TVR soon um, we've also got another meet coming up again I keep mentioning it the 11th of November at the caffeine and machine and that will be at 10 o'clock so 11th of November 10 o'clock caffeine and machine check it out EV meet there'll be other non EVs there as well but it's always good to have a good selection anyway see you next time